So one of the most popular restaurants on Princess cruise ships is Alfredo's Pizza. And recently I was able to spend time on the brand new Sun Princess where they've added five pizzas by award-winning pizza maker, Tony G. In today's episode, I wanna walk through Tony G's five new pizzas at Alfredo's and rank them from five to one. And I'll tell you which one is my favorite. Okay, here's a look at the pizza menu at Alfredo's. And you can see here on the left, we've got the five new signature pizzas by Tony G. Plus on the right hand side, we have 11 other pizzas. So you have 16 pizza options, which certainly you can't eat 16 different pizzas in one sitting. Now, fortunately, there were several of us there, five or six people, so it was okay to get you know five or six pizzas. But I would have tried them all. I would have got all, all five pizzas if I was there by myself because we got to know which one is the best. I'm going to rank the Tony G pizzas from five to one, but I do have a couple other special mentions I want to call out. We did get a six pizza. We got the Princess Pizza. That's their signature pizza. It's a pretty simple pizza. It's got ham, it's got shaved Parmesan, and it also has uh, cherry tomatoes. And it was a good pizza, but certainly these five Tony G pizzas were great. And then also there's another spot on the Sun Princess for pizza. It's up on the Lido deck. It's called Lido Slice. It's aptly named. And this is the included pizzeria that you can get pizza from. I think they're open, you know, late into the evening. And the pizzas there looked and tasted pretty good. But again, uh, not as good as the Tony G pizzas. So let's uh, run through the Tony G's. What will be my least favorite? What will be my most favorite? Uh, make that decision in your mind too, because you know I'm gonna ask that question at the end. All right, uh, let's get into the Tony G pizzas. The very first one is the hot soppressetta. This is Tony's tomato sauce, hot soppressetta, arugula, mozzarella, parmigiano, and hot honey. Up next, the classic combination, the New Yorker, Tony's tomato sauce, pepperoni, sausage, mozzarella, ricotta, romano, garlic oil, and oregano. There was a lot of interest in this next pizza, the honey pie. It had calabrese peppers, mozzarella, parmigiano, hot honey, green onions, applewood smoked bacon, and fried onions. The next pizza on the Tony G menu, the Cal Italia, topped with prosciutto di parma, sweet fig preserves, asiago, gorgonzola, mozzarella, Parmigiano, balsamic reduction. And then finally we have the pesto veggie, which had mushrooms, red onion, green acasta la vetrano olives, pepidou peppers, mozzarella, goat cheese, romano, agave pesto, garlic oil, lemon, and oregano. Okay, let's rank these pizzas. Coming in at number five was the pesto veggie. The only problem for me with the pesto veggie is it didn't have any meat. Now, I, I know it's a vegetarian pizza. It's not supposed to have any meat. It was good. All the vegetables worked together well. The agave pesto was interesting, but, you know, it's a personal preference thing. I certainly would have liked some meat. Number four for me was the hot soppressetta. Soppressetta. I, I, don't, I don't understand this pizza at all. It had some interesting flavors. You definitely got the taste of that spiced up salami and then the greens on top. It wasn't a bad pizza, let's say that, but it wasn't It wasn't my favorite pizza. The number three pizza in my ranking was the Honey Pot. The Honey Pot, delicious, had the bacon, had the fried onions, had the hot honey. This was a nice off the beaten path type pizza. Didn't have the traditional Italian flavors, but it certainly had some kicked up flavors in the form of that bacon, that hot honey. It was good. It was good. Number two on my list, and I think this would be the most popular middle of the road pizza, was the New Yorker. How can you go wrong? You got pepperoni, you got sausage, you got mozzarella or mozzarella. Do you guys say mozzarella, mozzarella? It's a big conversation we have at our house. Uh, what do you guys say? This pizza is great, especially if you like any New York style pizza. All of these slices are very foldable. That's the way to eat them. I think maybe one or two people were using knife and fork at our table. We let it slide. We let it slide. But I think most everybody else picked up every one of these slices, folded it in half, and stuffed it right in their face. The New Yorker, number two on my list and probably number one on a lot of people's list. But the pizza that came in number one for me that really surprised me was the Cal Italia. 
I love prosciutto on anything, prosciutto and melon, prosciutto on its own, prosciutto and cheese, but I do like prosciutto on top of a pizza. And then you throw in some cheeses I like. I like a blue cheese, gorgonzola. It's all part of that family. They're probably not, somebody's gonna tell me how they're not related, but it's a stinky cheese. It's a moldy cheese, gorgonzola. It was great with the saltiness of the Parmesan, but then the thing that really brought it all together, it was that sweet fig. That sweet fig was a shocker. I didn't realize how tasty, it was very sweet. And then to balance that sweetness, you had the balsamic reduction. Uh, chef's kiss. Uh, I, I understand for sure While, why this was an award-winning pizza. A lot of great pizza there at Alfredo's. I think it's worth mentioning that Alfredo's isn't included in your cruise fare. It used to be. They changed it up, but now if you want to get it included, you have to have one of the Princess packages, either the Plus or the Premier. If you have the Plus package, you can eat it twice. I think two of the casual dinings twice. But if you have the Premier, you can have it unlimited amount. I think that's why you see that Lido slice up there on the Lido. So there is included pizza on Princess cruise ships. But I do like the idea that they've elevated pizza a little bit. They brought in this award-winning chef, Tony G. One of the coolest things of the little bit of a preview I had of the Sun Princess was being able to see some of the chefs at work. In addition to Tony G, we also saw the sushi chef. We saw the, the person that developed the Royal Tea program on Princess. Chef Rudy was there. Really, really cool time to see some of the chefs at work on the Princess cruise ship. But look, you've seen the pizza. You've heard my comments. You've seen my ranking. What say you? What say you? What was the best looking pizza? What do you think you'd like to try of the five Tony G pizzas? Okay, you can even include the princess pizza. Of the six pizzas I've shown here, what do you think you would try? What looks like uh, the best pizza to you? Leave a comment below. Thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Subscribe for more. This is Tony for La Lido Loca. Until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido. Bye.